Hello, uh, welcome to the next video of our lab seven. In the previous video, we completed the AX stream IP generation using the HLS. Now we will use that in our block diagram. So as usual, in the viewer, click on create project. So create appropriate project. So here I'll say that's a my project. File. Click on next. Next again, select the same board which we have used it in the HLS that is our Z board. Click on finish. Okay, so then uh, click on create block diagram. Okay, uh, add the zinc IP and along with the DMA as we did in the previous. Day. Okay, so I have added the DMA, I have added the zinc IP, I'm using the ACP port. Now I need to add my IP, which was, uh, which we have generated in the uh, Viodo HLS. So go to the project settings. In the project setting, go to the IP repository. Okay, here I am uh, removing all my previous IP which were added just to keep it uh, same as yours, client screen. Then click on plus, add here. Then you should go to the IP which you have created just now. So if you, if, if I go to my ALD folder in the lab seven, okay, I'll just click on lab seven then the vivado will search for the newly created ip so you can see that it will tell me that there is one ip which is fine which has we have just created i click on ok i click on apply and now that ip you can see that will be added in my ip catalog so Let's see if there is an IP. You can see that now I can see my IP in my Vivado catalog. I have read the IP and you can see that the interface is same as what we have created. So if I want to show this one in detail, so output vector, you can see the valid ready last and the data signal. Input vector again, valid ready last time data set. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect output of the uh, signal to the DMA input and the stream output of the DMA. To my vector input, then uh, like we did for the F50, we'll use the constant signal to give the value. Again, later you can convert this con the value uh, interface as a AXI light interface and you can by using the processor, you can set the value of the corresponding signal. So this is a one one, so I'll connect it to the valid signal. So it's an 8-bit signal. So let's do the value as say 4. Okay, so this is there. Then I'll connect the clock signal. And finally, the reset signal, which is the active load signal. So this completes my block diagram. Then I'll generate the uh, the corresponding bit stream. But before bit stream generation, what I'll do is that I'll add the ILA. So by adding the input output of the IP as a debug port. And the AXI stream as a debug port. 
this is just for the visualization in case the IP is not working as per our expectation, we can verify the corresponding functionality. Okay, so then run connection automation. So after this, you should validate the design, generate the output products, uh, create a HTL wrapper, and generate a bit sheet. 